Hey guys, Jacob Dupre here at Sweetwater. I'm sitting down with the CTX 5000 keyboard from Casio. It's a 61 key keyboard that's velocity sensitive synth action keys. It's got 800 tones, 260 rhythm tracks, has a mic input, DSP effects, USB compatibility, wave compatibility, a lot of cool features I'm gonna dive into right now. One of the main features of this keyboard is to use the accompaniment patterns, use the rhythm tracks to create your own rhythm section, your own arrangement for a song. And you can f let the drums fill in real time, you can change from different grooves, and there's all kind of settings you can do. I have, a, so I have something already prepared that's already saved on bank one, bank one number one right here. So you can hear the chords will track with my left hand. And I'm actually going to push synchro start, so as soon as I play any note on the keyboard, the beat will start and the chords will start tracking along with the beat. So here it goes. Cool. So you probably noticed I was pushing the buttons over here in the rhythm controller side and I was doing things like letting the drum fill and also change the drum groove and you have from one, two, three, and four. And typically with most of the rhythm styles, as you go up higher number, you get more complex grooves, you usually get heavier groove. So if you're building a song, like I started with number one, which is a little more subtle and quiet, by the time I get up to number three, that rhythm, it's, it's a lot more active and that probably would be a bigger part of the song. So it's cool because it lets you control the dynamics of your performance in real time. Another cool way to control your performance in real time is to use the phrase pad, which already comes with some pre-programmed phrases, uh, different musical phrases like a guitar lick or a fill or you know something like that. But you can record your own which I've done. I have a song already prepared on registration number two, so bank one number two. And I think you'll recognize this song. It's by a guy named Justin uh, that you'll definitely know. And you'll notice I have it set up to where I push phrase one and it'll start playing on the downbeat of the next measure. So I can push it ahead of time and it'll start playing the loop that I recorded. So here's that. Yeah, so you notice I started in the middle of that, I clicked P1, which triggered the, the brass, the brass fall that I had already written in. And then when I went into a solo, I pushed P2, and that actually added some extra brass backgrounds. So it's really cool. The phrase pad can control your performance and uh, add different layers and complexity to your song. The CTX 5000 has a huge range of styles in both the tone and rhythm categories, ranging from you have piano and organ to guitar, uh, string pads, synth pads. You also in the rhythm section have pop, rock, Latin, country, a huge range of styles.
Let's go through some of the 800 tones on this keyboard. Actually, one of the ways you can go through different categories is by pushing category right here. And so we're starting with piano. So here's piano. And there are different pianos. So if you skip ahead a little bit, here's a dance piano. It's a little bit brighter, you know, at attack. Uh, if you go back to category, we can go forward. Electric pianos. Sort of kind of the DX7 sound there. Uh, there's other electric pianos. Moving ahead, there's organs. And a lot of other sounds too, uh, including accordion. Uh, you move ahead, they, they can get even more exotic. Of course, there's brass. And as you noticed in one of the other songs, I had the phrase pad set up. You can get different attacks with the brass. So I had a brass that would fall, so it'll do a big fall if you hit it hard. And there's other ones. There's a shake. So that's cool. That, that gives you a chance to add some, uh, some extra interest to your arrangement. Uh, some other categories. Reeds, so you get different kind of horns. Uh, reeds. This is solo tenor sax. Really breathy and cool. There's um, there's other kinds of sax. Here's a solo soprano sax. And as I said, there's more exotic instruments. Oh, there's synths. So there's that. Skip ahead a few categories. So, oh, here's, here's some ethnic sounds. Uh, ethnic one. Sitar. And then there's GM tones, which give you a whole bunch of extra different sounds. Some extra pianos, of course. Has a honky-tonk piano. But a wide range, so here's a dulcimer. And you can even get, here's like a distortion guitar. So as you can see, a huge range of sounds that will get you through a lot of styles of music. Let's take a look at the button layout here on the surface of the Casio keyboard we got. There's the tone section over here, which is how you change categories, the different sounds, which you can also do with the category button if you want to skip ahead. It, it does the similar thing. There's also group select. So the top line is piano, organ, guitar. That's group A. But if you want to select the bottom group, which is group B, you push group select and you can do that. Same thing with the rhythm section right here. So you can either be selecting rhythms this way in the A section or in the B section. Power and volume knob. Rhythm controller and song controller buttons, which is how you do things like let the drum fill, you change the, the drum uh, groove around, uh, you turn the accompaniment pattern on, you have sync start and stop if you want it to start when you play, uh, when you first touch the keyboard and the rhythm will start. Over here, there's of course the screen and the category, which I was using before to get through the different tones. Tone to get to the tone selection, rhythm to get to your drum tracks, and the song bank, which is has some pre-recorded songs already in it, actually. So. And 
there's a little bit of the saints go marching in, but you can record your own sounds too, and there's a, there's a lot of open space for you to create your own arrangements and record them. Record stop, which is used for various functions, like if you want to record a song or you want to record your own ideas, musical ideas to the phrase pads, you can use that button. There's a song bank, which allows you to access these, the pre-recorded songs that are already on there and also add your own. So here's some of the user tracks where you could record a song to. There's also the registration section, which is where you can go from pre-set uh, sounds that you've saved. This is also, this allows you to, this wheel allows you to cycle through different songs and different rhythms. And then the numeric keypad has many functions where you can exit in and out of menus and there's different uh, like enter and delete allows you to navigate things that are in the function section which is how you do stuff like record to the phrase pad or you can add DSP effects or you can uh, make adjustments to the 42 part mixer. Um, below that there's the metronome to turn on and off, tempo to change the tempo, portamento which is cool that adds a different effect to your melody lines, uh, sustain button, a harmonizer and arpeggiator which it's pretty pretty typical function, but gives you you know gives you that function. So we got an arpeggiator, the split, which lets you split the keyboard. And one of the things you can do is if you hold down the tone button, you can go from the main voice to the split voice, and you can change those either with the numeric keypad or with the wheel here. Uh, the layer, if you want to add a layer, you can layer this keyboard, um, and you can hold that down to access different layers as well. Well, they'll hold the tone key down. And then there's the octave button, the switch octaves, which is typical, and to transpose if you want to transpose the whole keyboard. Let's check out the I.O. on the CTX-5000. We have the DC 24 volt for power. You have the pedal ex expression input, where you can put an expression pedal in. Pedal 1, which is what I have my sustain pedal in. Audio in, which is an eighth inch, and lets you come in from your computer or your phone, and you can play music through. I should remind you too that it's wave compatible, this keyboard, so you can load audio onto this keyboard and play it, or you can just pipe it in through the audio in right there. The mic volume, which is how you adjust the volume for the mic, with the mic input is right next to that. Phones for headphones, and then line out, which left is mono, but you also have left right. This has been a brief look at the CTX 5000 61 key keyboard by Casio. If you have any more questions about it, feel free to call your Sweetwater sales engineer and they'd be happy to help you out. Thanks so much.